Bitcoin, bullish. Zuckerberg, sheepish. Roger Bear still carries a torch for his old girlfriend. Bitcoin, halal, not haram. And Soros goes from no coiner to hodler. Get ready for war. No war? All right, cool. Just get ready for the overview of the week. On Thursday, Bitcoin's price jumped $1,000 in just 30 minutes, turning the maps green. Bitcoin was back above 8K, an increase of just under 18%, the highest since December. Possible reasons for the surge. Serious money entering the market with Rockefeller and Soros, the cooling of a proxy war in Syria, and the end of a tax sell-off. The Facebook Senate hearing this week made people realize just how valuable their data is and just how little Mark Zuckerberg cares about his users. Increasing amounts of content providers are moving to decentralized platforms like Steemit, LBRY, and DTube, where contributors, commenters, and users don't have to worry about demonetization, censorship, or data breaches. Well, it's certainly right that he, he gave us access to, to a data set. Steemit has just under 1 million total users, while Facebook has 2 billion a month. That is quite a gap! But at least on the blockchain, no one has to explain the internet to grandpa. Well, how do you sustain a business model in which users don't pay for your service? Senator, we run ads. I see. Bitcoin Jesus has not forsaken Bitcoin. Roger Ver's first love was Bitcoin, but then he moved on to the hotter Bcash. It's Bitcoin Cash. However, this week he revealed in an interview that he still hodls Bitcoin just like holding on to an ex's old love letters or white papers. Kind of sweet if you think about it. <coughs> you know how it is. You get the flu, you start hallucinating, and you start talking crazy. You've heard of swine flu, but FUD flu? Well, a group of economists have come down with a pretty serious case. Analysts at Barclays have compared Bitcoin with the spread of an infectious disease like the flu. They say Bitcoin has peaked and consumers are now immune to its appeal. And the December bull run? Well, that was because buyers were infected with cryptomania. They used epidemiology studies to concoct their theory. Infections spread and are transmitted between buyers. Selling Bitcoin? I'm selling! Super! Thanks, man! Following the Rothschilds, old guy billionaire cool kids, the Rockefellers and Soros see the light and get into crypto. Soros in particular is a man constantly under attack and the subject of many conspiracies, so it makes sense that he wants to move to the land of the free. No, not America. The digital land of the free, where everyone pays in crypto. And finally, this is halal, this is haram. Bitcoin is now considered halal according to Blossom Finance, an Islamic microfinancing startup, meaning that the world's 1.8 billion Muslims can trade in crypto without breaking Sharia law which is pretty cool. Unlimited time offer. Order your halal pizza with your halal Bitcoin now. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next week, like, subscribe, and for goodness sakes, go outside. It's all green.